Hello, welcome to our presentation, Accelerate Electrical Schematic Creation with Solid Edge Wiring Design. My name is Bradley Hakeman. I am an application engineer with Geometric Solutions. We'll start the session with a quick introduction to the Solid Edge portfolio, and then we'll take a deeper dive into the applications that are available in the Solid Edge Electrical Design segment. The main focus of the presentation will be Solid Edge Wiring Design and discovering how the intuitive, powerful, and intelligent capabilities help to accelerate electrical schematic creation. Then we'll dive into the benefits downstream that can be levered from the reuse of these schematic designs. In the end of the presentation will be our summary and information on how to contact our team for more information. Solid Edge is a key part of the Siemens Accelerator portfolio and is focused on the requirements of small and medium-sized manufacturers. Solid Edge enables manufacturers to create comprehensive digital twin of their products and includes solutions for mechanical design, electrical design, simulation, manufacturing, and technical publications. It also includes solutions for data management for the technical data that is created and consumed when supporting the comprehensive digital twin. This facilitates collaboration both within manufacturing companies and with external resources, including suppliers and customers. Solid Edge is on the ramp to digital transformation. If you take a look at the core capabilities and packaging of the Solid Edge portfolio, we'll see a cross product capability is provided that enables the complete portfolio to work together. For example, eCAD working with MCAD, validating the digital twin with simulation tools and more, using the digital twin to create technical documentation and so on. The Solid Edge portfolio offers so much more than just cross product capabilities from team center integration to annual releases, cloud-based licensing, either on-premise or in the cloud, to perpetual or subscription offerings. All of this while providing a sound investment and best-in-class data protection. The electrical design portion of the Solid Edge portfolio comprises of four main capabilities with the addition of a PCB design solution. Electrical routing is an add-on module available within Solid Edge that allows for real-time seamless integration with Solid Edge wiring and harness design providing a true and consistent eCAD, MCAD experience. Wiring and bundle runs can be created in 3D to provide accurate length information that can be shared with the eCAD applications. Solid Edge Wiring Design is an electrically aware schematic tool for designing the wiring of electrical systems for multiple industries. For example, industrial machinery, specialist vehicles, consumer devices, or medical equipment. It comes with built-in verification and design rule checks to ensure that products are optimized for their performance and reliability. Its intelligent parts library help drive the design process with automatic part selection. Solid Edge Harness Design provides rapid and intuitive harness and form board design tools with automated part selection, design validation, and manufacturing report generation. PCB Collaborator brings the electronics and mechanical worlds together, providing a seamless passing of PCB information between Solid Edge and many eCAD solutions. Within the wider Siemens portfolio, we also offer PADS Professional, which is an affordable, intelligent, and integrated design and verification tool for PCB engineering projects. In this first demonstration, we will create a simple circuit showing our parts that can be found in the library, how the system helps authenticate the circuit as you work, then an analysis of the circuit is done to ensure the cables and components are correctly paired before a single wire is run. And finally, output reports and running lists are created for downstream manufacturer. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to show intelligent wiring using an industrial cleaning machine from one of our Siemens customers, WashTech. This project is made up of a number of circuit diagrams. We'll open the power circuit. Notice how easily we can navigate around the sheets. Just select the link and it opens the target as easy as that. Here on the power circuit, we see the contactor that operates the pump. This is a component symbol which we will be using to demonstrate the creation of an intelligent circuit. Let's open a new sheet for the control circuit. If we know the library and the location of the symbols as we do here, we can navigate to it. Additional copies of the symbol can be placed by simply using copy and paste. The numbering is taken care of to ensure all components are unique within the project. If we don't know where the symbol is, we can use the filters to narrow down our selection. 
and easily pull the switch located here in the library. A simple drag and drop into the drawing and the symbol is placed. The normally open contact and relays are elements of the contact KM4 that we're controlling and as such we can specifically reference those here. Note how it links to an existing component and does not place a new one. Now we can rename the component if required. If we add the same name here as one already in the project, then the DRCs or design rule checks come into action indicating it in red that it is already in use and cannot be used. Once the naming is done, we will start the wiring. Simply select Add Wire and select the connect points on the devices, adding the intelligent wires. Finally, add the wires for the switch and add additional wires to finish the connections. Now let's add the component symbol as a reference note. See how the cross references are automatically added to the circuit? If we return to the power circuit, we see the need to wire in another motor. This can be done easily by doing a copy and paste of the existing circuitry consisting of both wires and components as we're doing here. Note on the copy of the component, designations are updated based on the company numbering standards. These and additional properties can be based on requirements we see here. Remember, properties can be hidden or shown by simply clicking properties or project-wide in the styles. We'll finally finish this off by adding three new wires, and it's a very quick selection in a multi-fashion to add them all. Next, we'll take a look at the analysis. This can be a simple analysis where we check for continuity or more in-depth at numerical analysis where we take into account voltage, current, and resistance of components and wires along with their analysis models to determine how that circuitry will perform. In this example, we're looking at the interlocks on the doors of the WashTech machine for safety. All of these switches need to be closed before the machine will operate, as indicated by the light tower's red, green, and orange conditions. We select the main control switch that sets the interlocks to close, and we see that the green light turns on. Notice we can also interrogate each device and wire to check that it is not under or oversized to ensure an optimal integrity of the circuit. We can also introduce failure conditions on devices to further check the results. Next, we will simulate pressing the emergency stop switch while the machine is running. This will break the circuit and stop the machine as indicated by the light tower changing to a red and orange. A simple resetting of the switch reestablishes the connection and the machine can continue. Finally, let's look at the output reports. This can be either ones delivered out of the box, such as the bill of material and running lists, or they can be configured to your company's specifications using the built-in report builder. Remember, all of this is being done on a virtual model before any wires have been run. We've just shown a brief overview of how the Solid Edge wiring tools with the built-in libraries provide design consistency while creating intelligent schematic diagrams. We show how the design rule checks work behind the scenes, giving continuous feedback and leading to better quality first-time schematic designs. Reports are generated automatically from the linked schematic diagrams, allowing for late changes to the designs to be incorporated quickly and easily. In this next demonstration, we'll take a look at the downstream benefits of reusing the schematic design data. We'll focus on two main areas, creating a layout for our electrical control panel and the generation of the terminal plan table. We'll show you how we can add backboards and industry standard mounts and channels. We'll then populate the components on the rails by reusing the information from the schematic diagram. 
And finally, we'll create the terminal plan that can be shared with the manufacturing. Take a look at another Siemens customer example from Finimac here in the wiring design. We have completed a multi-page schematic which belongs to Finimac's pop circle machine. The pop circle machine contains two electrical control cabinets. To assist in the building of the control panels, some additional documentation is required. Solid Edge Wiring Design includes a layout design capability that allows users to reuse the schematic intelligence to generate a panel layout. We'll start off by placing the design border, which contains the correct size cabinet we need. The layout design toolbars provide us new capabilities to place mounts, channels, and other hardware. Here we need a mounting plate, so we'll select the other command and draw this to size. We'll assign a name and designate the type as backplate. The lengths and widths can be fine-tuned as required. We need some wiring ducts, so we'll place a horizontal channel. Dynamic dimensions provide accurate feedback. We can quickly access the properties, and the channel type can be modified by selecting from industry standard profiles that are available. We need two more channels. We'll place a vertical member first, and then we'll do a copy of the horizontal member. Two DIN rails are needed for the electrical components to attach to. The mount command will position the first rail, and then we'll place a shorter version in the lower half. Just like the channels, the properties can be accessed. The profile types can be changed, selected from different industry standards, again if needed. To help with building the panel, we'll add some dimensions to the mounting plate, giving the height and width, and then we'll add some vertical dimension to the channels and rails to document their positions. In order to place the electrical components onto the rails, we need to associate the layout design to the schematics. This is easily done by selecting the associate design icon and choosing our design. On acceptance, the logical objects in the schematic are synchronized to the layout design. Inspecting the design browser, we can see we have some new unplaced devices. The mounts, rails, and backplates are also visible. The groups tab is useful to categorize specific information. In the case of the layout design, we have two folders splitting the device into Zone 1 and Zone 2. Placing devices is simple, and there are many ways in which we could, this can be achieved. We'll start off by placing a single device snapping to the center of the rail. Options to rotate are available if needed. Multiple designs can be placed at the same time. The spacing between the devices is easily achieved with the press of either the one or two keys on the keyboard. The order in which devices are selected in the browser dictate how they are positioned on screen. Here we'll select K6 first, then the subsequent devices by pressing the O key reverses the order of the devices. The P key switches to manual mode, so individual devices can be placed splitting them from the selected group. We'll place another run again, selecting in the order we require them to be placed on the rail. We'll finally place the last few devices on the top rail. The Zone 2 folder contains all of the terminal devices which belong to the bottom rail. We want these to be in three distinct terminal strips, so we'll place them as three groups. A few dimensions are required to detail the position of the terminal strips on the rail. Moving the middle terminal strips 
shows the dimensions dynamically updating to reflect the new position. A quick zoom shows that the component names have been populated underneath each of the devices for clarity. A bill of material has automatically been built as you've added the devices to the layout design. The bill of material is customizable to show the information required. BOM IDs can be easily generated, resulting in balloons being added to each of the devices on the panel. The final deliverable required is a terminal plan to assist in the assembly and wiring of the terminal strips. This is easily achieved by creating a new diagram in the project design folder. The terminal plan tables are automatically generated, documenting the terminal blocks along with their specific symbol, physical sequencing the strip and details of where the wires terminate at both ends of each block. Single and multi-level terminal blocks can be modeled as required. As the table content including connectivity is reused from the schematic design, any changes made downstream will automatically be reflected, providing accurate and up-to-date information. Moving to the Groups menu, we can add a customized filter criteria to show the separated terminal strips in the browser. We saw how the components populated from the schematic diagram were easily placed on the rails. Using the simple snapping and auto positioning, we made sure all the equipment fitted correctly, and finally we create a terminal plan to ensure the panels are manufactured right the first time. In summary, we have just shown a brief overview of how the Solid Edge wiring design tools with the built-in libraries provide design consistency while creating intelligent schematic diagrams. We showed how the design rule checks worked behind the scenes, giving continuous feedback and leading to better quality right first time schematic designs. Reports are generated automatically from the linked schematic diagrams, allowing for late changes to the design. Reports are generated automatically from linked. Reports are generated automatically from the linked schematic diagrams, allowing for late changes to the design to be incorporated quickly and easily. We saw the reuse of data with components populated from the schematic diagram, easily placing the rails using simple snapping and auto positioning. We made sure that all the equipment fitted correctly creating output terminal plans to ensure the panels were manufactured right the first time. With Solid Edge Wiring Design, you can enhance your time to market, enhance your product. With Solid Edge Wiring Design, you can enhance your time to market, enhance your product quality, and greatly improve your profitability. Solid Edge Wiring Design. You get your design right first time. Thanks for watching. Scan the QR code on your screen for on-demand webinars from the team here at Geometric Solutions. If you have questions, please email us at solutions at geoplm.net. Thank you.